you'll get really uncomfortable doing this for too long. Oh, Especially oh, wow. from, what we, <laughs> from what we learned at the St. Louis trip. It's like it's like six of those nights do it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, should we wrong. should we use the Yodeling beat or Twilight? Yodeling. I don't know. This sounds nice. This sounds like a love song. A That's love perfect. song. Whoa, didn't see that coming. <laughs> Maybe I should just let this be the start. <laughs> and me not say anything. Like, this clearly did the work for me. Just give Josh the eyes. You don't even gotta rap. <laughs> should I inter- t- interpret a dance just a little... I think they can. They can kind of get the joke. Yeah, I guess. If that doesn't They've work. They've seen all they need to. Yeah, I think so. Way too much, actually. I don't know. If that doesn't work, I'll just overlap it with some rap that I make up tomorrow morning. And this is Shot 30 Podcast, and I am Shane Newbert. You like the transition there? That's pretty smooth. And I have a beautiful, lovely gal that we've talked about having this episode for a long while and i'm so sorry if anybody's so sad that this episode's going to be a little bit more serious than some of the other ones we're not just going to talk about anal beads and stuff <laughs> the beautiful miss Haley paxton how are you i was looking forward to talking about anal beads that's what we'll talk about then <laughs> that's what be that'll be the first topic and Haley, we, what we want to talk about today is epilepsy you have epilepsy yes i, I you're since you were 15 14. Yeah, okay 14. and you have a lot to say about it and you are very educated about it a lot more than anybody else out there and people don't realize how common this thing is out yeah. there and i've got to see it firsthand your sexy boyfriend over there josh he's got <laughs> do you want to just pop your head in and say hi do something creepy hey <laughs> that was creepy enough. That was perfect. <laughs> you made me spit a little. That was good. Whew. Oh I, we won't, I won't spit later. <laughs> Swallow for um, sure. He is not a quiver. I am, I am not. I am not. It'll spew out of my mouth before I let it go. <laughs> is, okay. Is, 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 is this... He wants to get all over his beard. Now it's your turn. <laughs> spew out of your nostrils like a dragon so shooting fire. Dragon. <laughs> what the f- is going on? Yes. And why are you so worked up about this idea? <laughs> An angry dragon? You don't know what that is? I'm I'm gonna guess. Yeah, I got a pretty good idea at this point. And so I, I don't know how do we how do we how do we transition here? <laughs> And so we're going to talk about epilepsy. We're going to talk about all that stuff. But first, I want to talk about something special to me. And that is Mrs. Newbie's Cakes and Cookies, the best in in the business at making cakes, cupcakes, cookies decorated for your well-being and your in your your like fitting needs. That's what I was looking for. That I wanted to find something that seemed like a little sexual when I said it. And visit Mrs. Doobie's Cakes and Cookies on Facebook and Instagram today for pictures like this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I'm just going to put pictures up right there. And that one, and that one, and this one, and that one. <laughs> visit Mrs. Doobie's Cakes and Cookies today. So how do we want to start this out? How do you... I would just like it if you kind of gave a brief... Is this still okay? I kind of like looking at you like you're a pirate because I can only see one eye. That's why I moved it. So now we can just... see through this little hole. <laughs> I felt like so, it was better than it was. I feel like we're on tool time. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that tool time? Yes. Home improvement. Yeah, yeah. With yeah. a guy. He can yeah. only see his two eyes. Tim the tool man, Taylor, and his neighbor. Uh, um, I guess I should say I've known you. I would probably have to say this is true. You are my oldest friend. Like the only f- person... That I've still been friends with when I was younger, that I'm still friends with today. I think you're the yeah. only one. We would have met in the sixth grade when I started going to Weathersfield. Yeah. Sixth so, grade, I remember some kid named Heath tried to get in. Was that sixth grade? I think it was sixth. Sixth grade, is that Miss Kami? Yeah. Oh, dear. Miss Kami's class, yeah. 
I feel like me and her. That was probably real good for your hormones. <laughs> yeah. That made me hit puberty way too fast. <laughs> way too fast. Um, but can you just kind of give like a summary of like how it started, how it came to be and how what you do now? Like that'd be awesome. Are we talking about my seizures? Or are we talking about my signs? What were you talking about? I never even brought up the signs. We'll talk about. We should. I why don't know, we leave that in the opener? Why don't we talk about the signs in the opener too? She makes the beautiful handcrafted designs, but we're gonna do. We'll do that in just a little. Okay, bit. I was just confused on what you're talking about. Do we want to so, lead into that first, or do we want to skip? This is your show. This is your show. This is your show. Dude, this is your show. Okay, we'll talk about epilepsy first. Okay. All right. So, my first seizure was. I was 14. I was running track um, at a meet, and the only thing I really remember about it is that I woke up, and there was, like, tar in my hair from the track, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, that's how hard I hit the ground. Um, Nobody really knew what happened, and that was that. So you woke up at, like, you? they didn't take you away or anything like that? No, no. I stayed at the rest of the track meet. I didn't finish competing, but... Uh, we weren't really sure what happened. We made an appointment with the doctor, and before I could get to see the doctor, I had another one. Um, That's kind of wild. You didn't go to the like emergency room right away. But how scary! Because, like that'd be. A, but you came back, yeah. and you were all the way there. It, yeah, it wasn't like a full grand mal seizure like I have now. Um, it was just basically I just passed out. Nobody even knew it was a seizure. Nobody knew it was happening. Um, I was in and out within 30, 45 seconds, I was told. And, um, you know, we were at an out-of-town track meet. My mm-hmm. mom wasn't there. We got home in the bus. The um, track coach talked to my mom and said I needed to probably see a doctor. And so we made the appointment. And then before I could see a doctor, we had, I had a second seizure at home. And my dad was an EMT. So we called, they called an ambulance and he showed up with the ambulance and they took me to a hospital and it was the same thing. I had just passed out. Nobody knew I was having a seizure. We didn't know what was going on. Same thing. They told me to go home, you know, gave me some, uh, like anxiety medicine for it. They basically told me that I had a panic attack and sent me on my way. And if you don't feel comfortable with anything, like I know, no, you you're get, fine. I know, I know. Sometimes, like, especially when we've talked about it before. I mean, you do get work. I mean, it's a, it's a, it, it takes over your whole life. It's taken over your whole life. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so if you need, like, if you need a minute or anything, just we can absolutely. No, we're good. It's I just don't usually talk about like my personal experience with it, if but you, I'd like to more. Oh, okay. You know, like I'm. I'm good. We're good. Okay. Sorry, I get worried. I get nervous. I'm no, the most nervous fine. person in the world. Always. <laughs> Literally. No, we're fine. Um, so now you had that and then time went by and they did they diagnose you with epilepsy right away? Actually, no. Um, they told me that I was having seizures, but they didn't know why. Because there's a difference in epilepsy and seizure disorders. Mm-hmm. Because... There are so many illnesses that can cause seizures. There are so many circumstances that can cause seizures. Like people have car accidents and hit their head. Traumatic brain injury can cause a seizure. Um, After a stroke, you can have seizures. But epilepsy is usually diagnosed after you've had several seizures that aren't provoked by another medical problem. Basically, they're saying you have seizures and we don't know what's causing the seizures. We don't know why you're having seizures. That's when you have epilepsy. When they know the reasoning behind your seizure, usually you just have a seizure disorder. So, so like, okay, so when I had my seizure, that do we know why I would have had that? Do you would you know medical problems? You told me that it, it was, was with my you're... appendix ruptured. Yeah, but like what what causes what? I would love what to know like what causes it itself. Yeah, because it, it would have to be the same reason I had it that yeah. you would have had, right? Yeah. yeah. That, so do you know what it is that actually causes it? Yeah, um, a seizure is just this is how I explain it easy. A seizure is basically just the electricity in your brain misfiring. Your brain is all, your whole body movement is all sent through electricity in your nerves and your mm-hmm. brain firing. 
And when you have a seizure, the nerves just misfire, so it sends your brain haywire. So, so where does the where does like foaming like I know that's not like a super common thing that always happens, but like why does foam come out of people's mouth when they have a seizure as well? I really don't know. Just different seizures look different for everybody based on where it's coming from in the brain because there are tons oh. of different types of seizures. Um, I have grand mal seizures, which are more commonly referred to tonic clonic seizures. Um, Sounds like a good rap that I should have yeah. made up at the start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clonic. That would have been a good. Rap. That's what everybody thinks of when they think of a seizure is the shaking that you see on TV, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but then there are pettit mal seizures or absent seizures where, that's what starts my seizure is um, a pettit mal seizure. I stare off into space. I'm in my own world. Yes. Nobody can. I don't know. You guys are talking to me. I'm just stiff. I'm just there. You know. Mm-hmm. And then that's usually a sign that I'm going to have a grand mal seizure. When you, when I, back in school and stuff, when you'd go to have them, it was literally clear as day. You were like, that's so Raven. You remember, you've seen the show, that's so Raven, <laughs> where she goes to have a vision. And, but she would just be like, yes. Shoo. And then, yeah. And then just like, that was. It progressed from The there, school yeah. really did an excellent job at letting. Oh my like, gosh. Yes. Re- like they really did. Our high school, Weathersfield High School in Kiwani, they did an excellent job at having everybody prepared and and the wild thing is then a younger s- student, a couple years younger than us, came through and she was having, I don't know if similar, but she was having seizures and stuff mm-hmm. as well. And it just allowed everybody to be way more prepared in like a, a field that no one really our age yes. should have even known about, I guess. But I'm very lucky because when we were in school and I was having seizures, there were days I would have two, three seizures a day. And the school would let me stay to continue my education. There are children in schools that don't get to have an education because of their seizures. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm very lucky. But there are people out there who have it way worse that they literally cannot attend school because the school doesn't know how to handle them. Or they're put in like a different alternative school um, where they get a different kind of education because of their seizures. So I was very lucky with how Weathersfield handled it. All. Yeah, they were they were absolutely excellent. Yes. I'll give you just a, I'll give you a quick break here, and this is gonna be. Have you ever done jujitsu, Josh? Because you look like a guy that really <laughs> likes to get down and dirty. <laughs> no. And if I know you guys can't I, see Josh outside of the screen here, <laughs> but this guy looks like he likes to get down and dirty. And that may he he may take that onto the mat, onto the wrestling mat, and even at that he may put on just that gi and nothing else. <laughs> Visit Conspiracy Kimonos for your custom made gi for jujitsu today. He's taking orders. He's coming out with a new brand. He's got the uh, I don't I don't know what the names of the things are called. Uh, but they're beautiful geese. That's Conspiracy Kimonos. That's Conspiracy Kimonos. Get your shirts today. Conspiracy Kimonos on Facebook and Instagram. The kimono right there behind you. No, I didn't it's a coat. That. I didn't know it's a coat. That you, you thought it was the, the calendar? Was no, was Visit the Conspiracy calendar. Kimonos. Get your custom made Cubs calendar today. <laughs> you weirdo. It's a mystery door. It's Narnia back there. See, Josh is tweaking, dude. This guy's trying to get dirty any way he can. Um, <laughs> well, maybe I missed one. We uh, we will take just a quick second, and I would love for you to keep going. I do have a couple of trivia questions for you, though. Ooh. Can you name three famous celebrities who have epilepsy? What do you call famous? Like famous famous, not me famous. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like a dog shit podcast with 70 views. <laughs> uh, uh, three famous, very, very famous people. Yes, this is going to sound terrible because I don't listen to rap music, but I'm blanking on his name. Little Wayne. Little Wayne does. Yes, Little correct. Little Wayne does have a epilepsy. And then we have Cameron Bryce, who actually just passed away from SUDEP from epilepsy. Ooh. Um, he was a Disney star, about 20 years old. Um, oh yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. The kid with the freckles. Yep. Yeah, I never seen anything with yeah. him, but uh, yeah, I saw that, and his family was really affected by yep. it. Bad. Um, it's not common, but it happens. And then, ooh, get me on this third one. I've got two really good ones in mind. You stop it. You stop. You can't see me. I, well, I can. I'm helping you. This isn't John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> like, yeah. I wish you had a mic over there right now. That would be hilarious if you just had one where you could hear his voice in the background. <laughs> and you, Or just like a, a body picture. I'm just going to put a picture of Josh, like the sexiest picture of Josh right there in that box. And he'll be pretty much talking to us. Or I'll like chop the bottom of his mouth and make it move. <laughs> like uh, uh, South Park Canadian yeah, Yes, yeah. Um, the, the second one, how about a artist? As famous as it gets. I don't know. Mr. Vincent Van Gogh. Really? Yep. Um, one of the, my probably my favorite musician of all time, Elton John. Actually, yeah. I did read that on the internet. I just forgot that and tell you. Yeah, that's, so I, I did do a, a little bit of research. I've tried to be, a, like, not sound like just a complete fuck bag. I don't right. want to bleep that word when I do that. <laughs> do you have to like do that for your No, I just do it because I think it's funny. <laughs> because like... Oh. Yesterday, yesterday's podcast, what did you say in that sentence? It was just, like, oh, you want to know what I said when it was all bleeping? Yeah. I said... Are you going to bleep that? Uh, who you knows? Should again. You should again. <laughs> you I totally will. <laughs> but Keep it was so mystery. funny seeing both of their faces like, ah, oh, yeah, oh, there's a new one. <laughs> What's an <laughs> a- I was like, what if you just said something normal? I did not. <laughs> I can no. promise you I did not. Um, But yeah, so now let's... I'd like to roll back into the awareness and i would love for you to talk about um a little bit more of the stuff that is happening now i know you put a statistic out there and i can't stop saying it to people in 2016 2017 2018 the amount of seizures and medical marijuana and and how that's affected your life because yes. this is an imp- that is an important huge number and it's like that's life changing for you yes it certainly was um I'm not going to lie, I was smoking before then, before I got my medical marijuana card, but actually getting the card and going to the dispensary and getting the medical grade stuff, one, and two, being able to have access to CBD oil that was combined with THC instead of just, you know, smoking whatever I bought off Mm -hmm. the street, you know, really significantly improved my seizures because in 2018 I had 74 seizures that I documented and sometimes they were coming so fast that I just wasn't even writing them down you know um and then last year 2019 I had 14 seizures that is so, so crazy yes. Haley you used to have 14 seizures in a week yes there that were is definitely so times. wild yep. that is so wild and you know even the use of n- not to like break away from because I want to keep talking, but about that. Uh-huh. But CBD oil in itself too for everything and anything. I mean, mm-hmm. there was months where I was going through some things with the, like I was had depression, anxiety, stuff like that, real bad. And CBD oil, like just a squirt under my tongue, and boom, I'm asleep. Mm-hmm. Like I and relax, not like not like I, I just knocked myself out because right. I used to knock myself out with my. Xanax pills and stuff like that that the doctor would give me. I would knock myself out to quit thinking because I would think just so much. And that CBD oil, I was like, what is... And they're like, it's so expensive. It's $40. You're not going to want this. I was like, I want it. I need it. Um, There's also another uh, product out there. It's called Kratom. Have you ever heard of it? Mm -mm. There's this show. It's called A Leaf of Faith. And it's by a guy that I know he made the show his name's chris bell and then mark and chris bell their brothers powerlifting big name guys they made a show called leaf of faith uh well chris did and it's about this uh leaf it's a tea leaf from india and it's been used for hundreds of years they just crush it down and make it into a tea well they also made it into a powder and the problem with it is it's made people the opioid crisis almost stop because people take this, it doesn't mess with you. It doesn't change the way you think, feel. It doesn't make you high. It doesn't make. You, but people don't feel the need to take a, um, a painkiller or a mm-hmm. shot or anything like that. It's it's just called kratom, and you can buy it. And it. And, but now they're trying to ban it because it's stopping the op- opioid crisis. It takes money away from big pharma. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's for sure. And, yeah. And so. 
Now, how do you, okay, now how do you use your medical marijuana to prevent having seizures? Uh, when I start to have the pet at mall seizure, like we were talking about, where I start staring off into space, or even if I just am you're able to think funny. You... No, I'm not able to think. Josh is my oh man seizure boyfriend, like a you know <laughs> yeah. seizure helper. Yeah, he sees yeah. that I'm going to have one, so he'll run and get the oil and just it's like in a little dropper, you know, mm-hmm. and no, forces it like, into me. No. My well, mouth forces into the mic. Okay, no matter how I this say this, it's going to sound bad. You so just you, see this so you force it in, oil. So Josh here, the creepo in the corner, <laughs> he forces it into her mouth, Orvis. Is that what it's called, Orvis? Orvis. Orvis. <laughs> Dude, if that if she ever hits lockjaw on you, bro, you're done. Yeah, I would. <laughs> no. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> They're all like, "Will you pop his head back in real quick again? <laughs> Just give a smile real quick again." <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be the most. His voice is gonna be the most faint thing in the background. Where it's like, "Hey, listen, my dick's not that big." <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna sound like he's screaming down a hallway. And you want to know who's not screaming down a hallway? Mister Jerome Lovely. <laughs> Visit Jerome Lovely for your male escort service out of the Quad City, Chicago area. You you won't need to scream down a hallway for lo- uh, friendship. Not love. I don't know why I said love. Lovely. You just scream down the hallway and you'll have your friend, your male escort, standing right beside you. You don't need to be alone. You don't need to feel lonely. Feel lovely with Jerome Lovely. Visit them on Facebook today. Have you ever had a male escort? No. Never had a male escort. Would you ever think I'm about... A, I'm a female, though, so usually, like, if I want sex, I just... It's not to sex. buy me dinner. <laughs> like, and I get a free meal out of it, you know? <laughs> just hit somebody up in their <laughs> inbox on Facebook. I don't... That's what you do? <laughs> if I was going to... Not, any, not anymore, oh because... <laughs> Uh, I love Josh very, very you just, much. I do want. I would really <laughs> love to talk about that in a very, like, in a serious, in a serious way. It is incredible, um, you know, to find a person compatible with, you know, like, it's, it's, you know, it sucks. It sucks that you have to go through it, but a person that loves you that much that will take care of you and, you know, knows that you know that he will have your back and he knows the same way both ways. But I think that's such a really, I shut up, Josh. Um, I think that's such an awesome thing to find something like that. Really? It, it, I mean, it has to be so much weight off your shoulders for that. It is. Um, not many people would take care of me like Josh does, even though I'm really mean to him. (laughs) Well, we can beat his ass later. (laughs) Yeah, he's uh really good to me. Yeah, I, we've been through a lot together as far as my seizures. Like, uh, we don't talk about it very often, you know. But like when I see every all these couples on Facebook, we've been through everything. Like, Josh and I really have been through a lot with my seizures. Um, with my lupus too. I found out in 2015 that. I had lupus, which connected a lot of dots for me as far as health problems I was having over the years um, and as far as why I have trouble getting my seizures under control. And in 2018, they put me on like a medicine chemo. Um, I didn't have to like go get actual treatments, but every week I took um, pills for a chemo treatment to control the lupus. Josh was there for me the whole time, you know, like really good when I was getting sick and things like that. And, you know, yeah. holds my hand while I have seizures in the shower. And <laughs> it's just take a, take a breath. It's okay. It's okay. Just take a breath. You want me to talk about like me sucking dick or something for yeah, a second? Yeah, that's great. I've sucked so <laughs> many dicks. I swear to God. Is I this can't... a competition? Because yeah. I feel like I've probably sucked more dicks. Should we get two in here and see who does a better job? Josh, I call you. We got to just well, go. Right, right, <laughs> we'll just go one at a time. <laughs> Oh yeah! So, oh, now he's gonna sit down. <laughs> now you're gonna be in the mic. You'll be good now. You're closer. Um, yeah, I know. I I understand. Like I, I don't. I don't understand. You know, I, I, that's that's the thing that we say. And I and I I made a mistake. I don't understand what it's like. 
I don't understand what it's like. I've had my own problems with things and it gives me an idea, but I don't know yeah. what it's like to not have any control of my body and not have anything I can do about it. And I I think that's such a horrible I, – I really hope there's a day where they can just make a magic pill and you never have to even worry about that again. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> I, rem- I remember – a few years ago and i really hope that like um i'm okay here if when you were trying to get your license you wanted it really really bad and this is when we were close Mm -hmm. you know we were really close then we're really close now but there was a time where we just i wasn't close with anybody i didn't talk to anybody but i know how bad you wanted your license and then you went like three months and you thought you were going to get your license. You thought you were ready. And then and then it, it happened again. And I just remember just you were just in shambles over it. Like, and I, I, I hope I hope one day and one day soon they can come up with something that that just stops it all together. But I am glad for the things that they have that you are down to 14 or 17 or whatever mm. it is. This is that. that we have to we have to be able to find silver lining in something here, and that is one you have this guy to be with you, and two you have medical marijuana to cut these issues back, and now you're also you're be, you're becoming so smart um, about everything, you're learning about everything, and you're also able to give awareness to other people, and I think that's such an awesome thing. Yeah, that's I like to give awareness because there are a lot of people who. Are there's such a stigma on seizures that because it is an invisible illness, um, that people are embarrassed to talk about the fact that they have seizures. I was just telling Josh when we went to the eye doctor last week, last year when I went to the eye doctor, the lady did my eye exam and then she said, Can I dilate your eyes next time? I was like, Yeah. She's like, Well, make sure to bring a driver. And then she said, Oh, wait, you actually, like, this was in a waiting room full of people. She's like, well, actually, you shouldn't drive anyways because of your... And then she looked at me and, like, covered her mouth for a hush and whispered at me, seizures. And I was like, it's not a bad word. You can say it. Like, Mm -hmm. I'm not embarrassed about the fact that I have it. But when you say it quietly like that in Mm -hmm. front of a whole room full of people, you are making me feel like I should be ashamed of it. But you also have to see that side where she realized in the middle of saying i don't know i don't know yeah, the situation. she doesn't want to put my personal business mm. out there um but it doesn't have to be like that that when you guys came over for the christmas party and um joe's wife had the flashing <laughs> but that's just something that has to be said because we're all having uh-huh. a fun time that she yes. had a she had a flashing necklace and and the room was dark because we were singing karaoke. But like, <laughs> well, was tr- singing karaoke. I, was tr- <laughs> I was trying. <laughs> Shane was performing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was trying to find somebody to get down with that night, dude. <laughs> no takers, not today. Well, there was a woman down the street with no teeth. That she she kind of yeah she she tried to give me a gum job once, but I'm not gonna talk about that today. Um, <laughs> but like I. You know, you were like, it's not, you were giving me the cutthroat, I was, cause you were trying to tell me, trying to be rude, you were yeah. trying to tell me that, hey, this is, and it, I, I, I didn't think about it, but the, I was so thankful that you did because what better way to, you know, like have a bunch of crazy people at a party and something bad happen yeah. <laughs> when we could just literally just not do that and have fun still. Yeah, like, yeah. I like, anything because she feels bad about it. I was trying not to be rude. But you don't ever, ha- when you're but, when you're here or you're ever, and you sh- I'm, I'm not just saying here, you should never, yeah. because just realize like, hey, it's some, it's, you know, like I know that I can't, you know, like I can't pee in the short urinal because <laughs> I have such a it's just huge, huge you know? yeah, and it's just like it hits the bottom of the thing, and like <laughs> so I just don't do it because I do. I'm not trying to. T- I, 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 I have the opposite it. effect. <laughs> <laughs> So Josh has to get like inside the yeah. urinal. <laughs> he pees out. Yeah. He pees out. He's like the soap dispenser. <laughs> <laughs> the, little, the little nozzle on his. Like I got syphilis. It's just one little, one little drop at a time. Okay, let's get this back under control here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I okay. did do a, a little bit more research about another thing, and this is why I oh. think that this is 
Get her another drink. Yeah, you're slacking, babe. Maybe, maybe yeah, you should yeah. go put your Usher outfit on. And not Usher, the singer. Is Usher, that, it's like... Song does Usher like an song Usher, though? you know? Like a, oh. Like a bar hop. It's gonna burn for me to say this. Um, I thought you were talking about that song from T-Pain. Let me buy you a drink. So I'm gonna totally buy you a drink. That's I wish we could attach some auto-tune. Ooh. Oh, that'd be hilarious. You're like gonna get a message from T-Pain. Please don't sing my songs on oh, your podcast. Oh, you're probably right. I can sing, I can sing eight <laughs> seconds of it before then I could get... Uh, Copyright. Yeah, you can sing eight seconds. That's why you can put a clip up of like a picture that's not yours for like a couple seconds. That's how you get away with it. Um, but no, I saw that. You that I well, I already know this for a fact, and of course you do too. That you were fourteen years old when you had your first seizure. Yes, epilepsy can start at any point in time in your life, mm-hmm. and I saw that with. Children, it's like a 1% chance with uh, kids like age 15 to 20, it's like a 3% chance. And then 20 to like 40, it's like a 4% chance. And it just keeps climbing as you get older. So like being aware of this kind of stuff could make a huge difference come the future when you need to, uh, when you need to know about this. Yes. Yeah, or just even like kind of like learning CPR, the high, like anything like that, to know how to react if somebody was to have a seizure right in front yeah. of you. Um, the statistics are that one in 26 people will develop epilepsy, but one in 10 will have a seizure at some point in their life. Like, you just you're just one it. in 10. Mm-hmm. You said you had a seizure. We are, we are 30, we are 66% of the room. Have you ever had a seizure? No, I'm not. So, we are literally uh, two thirds of the room has had, you know, in, in yeah. this room. That's what I say. The statistics are so high for somebody to have a seizure that it could be the person standing next to you at the grocery store, the person standing next to you at the bank. You know, um, it could be anybody anywhere. It could be your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, you. Like, you don't know and when you'll need to know seizure first aid. Yeah, it's, there's a, there's a, it's kind of like a, a lot, you know. Just being prepared for so many things, you know, just like the coronavirus right now. Like, well, guess what? You know, in London and you know, in China, you know, those those homes, they don't have food and water right now. They get like every two weeks or something like that. They're bringing in a cart and giving each giving each family like five cans of food. If you're not prepared for things like this, things Mm -hmm. happen just like this. It's 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 not just with seizures. It's with so many things but we forget we forget because oh it's not happening to me uh-huh it's not it's not yeah i just i it's just a really confusing thing of the things that we give priorities to and like you know growing up in in school and learning about things well we're learning about i mean just stupid shit in school when there's actually real life things where you should be <laughs> like why, why isn't there a class about what to do or like d- like a class about actually what you do if there's a tornado or a class <laughs> like a real life class about any of the shit they told us i'm pretty sure you're not supposed to sit in the hallway <laughs> yeah you, you, okay so like you think about this you remember what we all had to do we had to yeah. sit down crouch over and put a book over our head well our head is the most least important thing in this situation <laughs> yeah. because our spines are going to be ripped open <laughs> and we're dead either way and we're going to be by 7000 metal lockers <laughs> yeah. that are going to split us all up we're going to look like sushi by the time a tornado blows through if one person lives it's the one kid that was hiding out in the locker room for some yeah. reason i there there it makes no sense some of those things but there are so many valuable things that we don't learn about when we should I don't have Instagram. Is you the should. Problem. I'm you, told that I should get Instagram. You should have every source of social media because your business. Oh, I have a handmade I'll, by look, Haley Instagram page, but I don't know how to use it. I also have an Instagram page for my dogs because I'm trying to make them Instagram famous because they're so cute. But do, I don't know how to run it. Just like that show, the Cats show, I told you. Those people are making millions of dollars. 
millions of dollars off their cats. Yeah, and I'm sorry, a but my influencer. dog's the cutest. Do you have the cutest dogs in the world, so why not make some cheddar cheese don't off them? Don't tell them all that I said this, but Winston's the cutest. Winston's the one you Damn post why. about the most. He's That's because he's my baby. I've had him since he was eight years old. Well, since he was born. What kind of... And he's he's, he's a, a basset hound. Okay, yeah. If you actually want to talk about him in relation to my seizures, he's untrained, but he's like the best little service dog I could ask for at home. He's a basset hound. And uh, when I have a seizure, he can like, some mornings I wake up and he just attaches himself to me. And I know that those are the days I'm probably going to have a seizure. I was going to ask that. That's what yeah. I was literally in my brain. And does he know? Because they've yeah. said that before that sometimes your pet will know that something's yeah. going to happen to you. And the other two do well too. But Winston, like I said, I've had him since he was a puppy. He's never, he thinks seizures are normal, you know, like he's was born into them for me, you mm-hmm. know? So he's always been around them. And uh, a couple years ago I had one when I was living at my apartment and nobody was home with me, and Winston and I were outside while he was going to the bathroom, and I had a seizure in the front yard, and he ran across the street to the neighbor's house, and he just barked and barked and barked, like, you know, that, what's that dog? What, anyways. I don't know what dog you're Balto? Lassie? What's oh, the dog that runs and You're talking help? about his show from, like, the 1800s. I don't know. No. Anyways, so he ran across the Let street. Let me do my duty and fact check. He ran across the street, <laughs> and he got the neighbors, and they said that he was just barking outside their door until they came out, and then they could tell it wasn't just, like, a normal bark. It was, like, a something's wrong bark. Wow. And he just kept, he got him to come over, like, follow him over to our yard, and so they could call for help. It was pretty awesome. Wow. That is such yeah. a cool story. Yep. Ah. Oh. He just barks like crazy when he realizes one's going to come. Even like if I, you know, we were saying where I have the pe- pet mall seizures first where I stare off into space. If I'm staring at the TV for too long, he gets crazy. Like he needs to know that I'm okay. Like mm-hmm. he'll start barking at me so that oh, I'm like, because you're I'm zoning. all right. Yeah, yeah cause like because I'm zoned into it. He's so worried that it's like an aura for a seizure that. He goes crazy at me. <laughs> that is so wild. That's such a. I mean, it's, no training at all. No, none. Yeah, but but. J- it's just training as your little best best bud yeah. is just, is worried about you. Yeah. Can I say what happened yesterday? Well, you're gonna have sure. to say that louder because no one knows what I'm you're saying back there. Go ahead. So last night, oh, he, we're he's watching getting... your podcast. Lean your face forward. Just get in here. Just lean closer to the mic. Just gonna get in here. So last night I was watching your podcast. And she was in the office working. No, okay. you, oh, no, no, no. All you just have to do is put your face forward. You're out of the camera, ass head. <laughs> so, I was watching your podcast last night, and she was in the office working. Uh-huh. And Winston was in there with her, and I'm moving this. Okay, you're good. And so, so Winston was in Winston there. Winston was in there with, with her, and so was my dog, Wilbur. Well, I don't know where the cats come running out. They both come charging out while she was... In there having a seizure. Last night? Last night, yeah. Oh. So the dog come out ballistic. To let him know? To let him know, yeah. Winston will go nuts until you tell him it's all right. <sighs> you had one last night. Yeah. It wasn't a how super many, bad one. How many have you had this year so far? I think two. Two? Yeah. I guess, yeah. yeah. And one of them, I was sick. I had like a respiratory infection. Which infections for me always make them, like, cause seizures, you know? Like, it's a trigger for me. But uh, it doesn't help because of the lupus. I get sick a lot. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's, let's regroup for a second. <laughs> get you, just have her scoot over just a hair. And then you put your big head in here. Bug. Now scoot your chair all the way beside her. Issue. Look like you guys care about each other. No, don't. I don't want to knock your stuff over. Though, so you can knock whatever you want over. Oh, okay. look at That's you guys! What I was trying for. I didn't want to interrupt your, your speech. No, <laughs> now we've lost our fact checker. That's fine. My phone's behind me. Um. So. Sorry. You okay? So you've had two so far this year, mm-hmm. and well, that would leave you on pace for your still hopefully your lowest year. Since you were 14 years old. Yeah. And that would be incredible. Because last yes. year was 14? 
Uh, or 17. Yeah. 2019, I had 14 seizures. So if I have one a month this year, which is what it's going on, then I'll have 12 this year. Well, let's hope for under one a month. That would be let's nice. Or, let's, okay, let's uh, hope for zero. <laughs> <laughs> zero right. more. That's the end game. <laughs> yeah. Wow. They're like, wow, that asshole just wished for her to have 11. <laughs> like, well, last year you went... I think it was like three months without having one. Yeah, which, which is, is the, the longest, longest I've ever yeah. been. Yeah, and I can um, honestly, I couldn't tell right now, but a lot of the times when you were posting after you'd have a seizure, you could see it on your face. You just looked so drained, and I don't know if maybe that was more mentally than physically. I don't maybe as a mixture of both, but you just had that drained look, and it, it, honestly, it was just so sad, sad look. Like it was just. Because I know you hate to have, you hate to do this, but, um, yeah. but you do, I would say in today's world compared to when you were a kid, you are more aggressive over trying to learn now. And it looks like you're more uplifted and you think about the positive rather than the negative so yes. much more, so much more. Yes. When I first started having them. My family was going through some personal things, too. Like, my parents' divorce was a big stressor on them. Was that the same? That was right at the same time? Yeah. Yep. Oh. It happened at the same time um, about six months after my seizure started. So, it was a hard adjustment as a teenager to, one, have your parents divorcing, but two, have this illness that you don't really know anything about yet. And I felt like... My parents were getting divorced because of my seizures, honestly. Like, I was so stressed about it. Now, as an adult, I realize that that's crazy. Mm -hmm. But at the time, that's how I felt. Like, it all happened at once out of nowhere. And I felt like a lot of it was the tension that was going on because I was sick. Because that first year I got sick, I was in the hospital for the whole summer. Um... They you, can started... take a, you can take a second. Just wipe your face. Oh, take it. No, just I, I'm not. I, you know, <laughs> this isn't about me being fine. Just take a second. Just breathe a little. Like you're okay. I know this is a lot. Like talking this much about it, and I just want you to be okay. I just want to make sure you're okay for oh, everything. Yeah. I'm fine. We're good. Okay. I just want to. Okay. Are you sure? I'm positive. Okay. Then you. <laughs> To keep going. It's I just, really emotional. I know, I know. She is. She, you, you've, you've always been very, like a very passionate, very, very passionate person about a million different things. But I just, I don't like to see you cry. I don't no. like it at all. It sucks. Like I'm a lot more accepting of them now than I was when they first started. You know, like like when we were in school together, it was a lot to handle. I used to get. And really easily embarrassed about them. And I felt like everybody was always... I was always the topic of conversation, I felt like, with my seizures. I know a lot of people had really negative things to say about me. And said horrible things about me, like making them up and using them for attention and stuff. I was having them a lot because I was stressed. Like, you were a high schooler. You know how stressful high school was. On top of being in high school, I was trying to deal with having these seizures... My parents getting divorced, just not getting to do what you guys were doing. You know, I watched, I'm one of the oldest in our class, besides like you and a couple other people. I should have been one of the first to get my driver's license. I watched everybody else take driver's ed. Like, I didn't even get to take driver's ed until my senior year. They forced me. And that was when they were putting freshmen in it. So I was literally taking driver's ed with freshman students as a senior about to graduate who was not going to get her license. I was just forced to take the class itself and watch these freshmen taking it, getting their driver's license. That's the lines that we forget. Like, this is this is, this is is a, a thing that, uh, you know, like, it bugs, it bugs me a lot um, about stuff that I do and have. Like, people forget. Like, I used to be... I used to be really bad with depression and all these thoughts and bad things. And, you know, I was going through a lot of shit. And now people, like when I post something goofy, just a silly Valentine's Day video, this guy should just go kill himself. Like, do you got to think twice before you? And I, and I, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it. People did used to say that. I'm not going to show, like I, you did, I you know, did it for I've attention. It. You did, you did it for it. And that was just, I've heard it. and I, that was something that always, that I remember just thinking like, what are you saying? She's she's laying on on the ground, shaking like 
it's this is not yeah and that is it's just something that maybe we all should continue to think about this is what i always say is think twice before you say something if you think twice and you think that this is going to be what you really want to say then i i guess you say it but you think anybody you think any of those people would walk up to you right now and say you were faking no. none of <laughs> them none of them and i would say a lot of that is because they've grown as people maybe but also some of it is hello <laughs> you know like well i know like i've grown a lot since high school i was not always the nicest of people either like you were an asshole sometimes yeah, i'll be the first one to say it. i was mean so to a especially lot of when you had that <laughs> short haircut dude <laughs> Haley's spiky hair dude when Haley had this short spiky hair that meant get the fuck out the way yeah, shane's hair. thinking about the time that i thought i was a lesbian Turns out no, you 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 were definitely not. You thought you were a lesbian, but you were definitely just bisexual, and you still are. I, and I don't <laughs> care what you say. I thought I was a uh, lesbian for a short time. I was not. <laughs> I am not. You did. You did have that are spiky sure? hair, and she walked around with this mug. She's like, "I dare motherfucker just, to say just something." Just me mugging. <laughs> but I have had. She does that now? What are you talking about? Seriously, I've had so many fun nights like and that is that is wild like growing up like like we said earlier you're one of the only people that i still and and it's have we ever had a negative uh, like a like i don't know if i've ever had a negative day with you it's always just been just i mean really just talking and goofing and having fun and that's just that's the person that i know that you are and so if anybody ever would have something crazy to say that would just blow my mind in today's in today's world but honestly the most people you'd get something from in today's world is people that don't have a clue who you are as a person yeah yeah Yeah. they'll just know they just know about uh josh's strap on asphyxiation she's into some weird like no i'm saying you are you're not no she's if she's into pegging (laughs) if she's into pegging that means you dude i don't even know what pegging was till josh told me oh and we're not pegging Nobody's pegging. You know what she Nobody's pegging. What do you mean nobody? People is? are probably pegging. I'm, I'm, probably I'm pegging. I'm pegging. I'm one third of this room <laughs> is pegging. One third I can this tell room you it's pegging. at least sixty six percent. I'm pegging her. Oh wait, <laughs> gay anal sex is not considered pegging. No, so never mind. Pegging. It's thirty three percent of the room. My bad. <laughs> you weren't very good at math. All right. What would you say, Haley, would be something that you really <laughs> would like people to know? Like, is there a place that they can go to get the information? I, I Is it this month? Is Epilepsy Awareness Month? November is Epilepsy Awareness okay. Month. But March 26th is National Epilepsy Awareness Day. So you can put your purple on March 26th. Um, um I is there a walk or any like are people doing anything not in our area more in the chicago area why don't we um, do it why don't we do a shot th- like would, shot 30 handmade by Haley? um a walk for awareness yeah i would definitely be down for something like that and we've been they talking do, they about do doing some of this is, the, is there a relay place for life is for cancer i'm just saying they do that why isn't there one for <laughs> there are just That's not in our saying. area that was my point they do one in our area for life why can't they do one for that I know Shane's wanting to They do in other now, areas. <laughs> I was just saying, why don't they have one in our area? That's the only walk in our area that they have is really for life. Yeah. You, we, yeah, we should. Nobody's organized. But we should, make, we should make our yeah. own. And then is they have, I mean, I mean, I would guarantee research centers for epilepsy uh-huh. and children and donations. We could build something <laughs> and do, something. because we did the, the thanks for giving this Thanksgiving thing for shot 30. Mm-hmm. And dude, that was so wild just the amount of stuff people were just donating like there are really good mm-hmm. people out there still like it's not just everybody's bad but there are really good people out there and any way possible for to help someone yes. in the same shoes that you were in you know like to think about being that kid maybe maybe there's something that we could do you know i know we're just i did a t-shirt fundraiser back in like 2014 where we sold t-shirts for epilepsy awareness and then uh i wrote a check to i like to go through the chicago epilepsy foundation 
just because it's in our area as far as like research, but there are well, so many. Will I be able many. to put that link up right here? Sure. I don't care what you do with the link. But... Is that just, it's just a research foundation? Yeah. Go in ahead. Chicago. Do you guys want to point at it? Am I in, <laughs> just in this general direction? Over here? <laughs> hey, right here. You see Haley's hands like, guys, I'm back podcast. here. I'm back here. <laughs> right here. <laughs> um, I think I think we should definitely do a fa- we should do uh, well I would just want to do one where we, maybe we just talk about pegging like we'll just do episodes <laughs> of talk pegging about pegging fundraiser? but I I think that the amount of information that we have in this is exactly what I thought this episode would be is and I I would like to wrap this up and then we're going to go upstairs and I'm going to show you that neither neither of you have any talent at Mario Kart. Oh, I've already told you. Haley wins a couple oh, games on easy in the car ride while she's <laughs> that playing. That was on easy? Car ride. Oh, yeah. Okay. I made you feel like I was a champion, <laughs> Shane. Now they found out it's a lie. Listen, like, I'm I also going to attach played. a picture right here of Haley trying to show Josh how to use a map. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have to. <laughs> okay, have so to. I... Our I, map I, was really confusing. Oh, I, I know. There was two it. mountains and then a uh, foliage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a beaver. Two mountains. Island. And like a beaver, beaver dam. Yeah, like, beaver island. Weird. They call it beaver island. Oh. Hmm. Um, hey, okay. Mish, if you're listening to this, I just want to let you know, I think you're a pretty hot chick and I love you a lot. Me too. Movement. Three for three. Harvey Weinstein just got put in the can, dude. That's the Me Too that. movement guy. Oh. He started it, or it was started because of him. Uh, yeah. Well, he was doing bad stuff to people, and then everybody else was like, me "He too. did to me too. He did to me too." And then he just got put in. He's locked up for life now, dude. That guy's creepy as hell with his little fucking walker. Ooh, ooh, yeah, he's a weirdo. I did see that actually on twenty twenty. I did not. Did you see him? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so watch his hat when he does it. I know, dude. It was really just dance. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> so please, if you guys like this episode, hit share, subscribe, and also listen to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, iTunes, Castbox. Some other stuff, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. That is Haley Paxton. That is Josh Vershaw. Is that how you say it, right? Yes, okay. It is, yeah. And I would, uh, handmade by Haley, the link will be right here for all of her beautiful handcrafted. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to give like handies here. <laughs> Get Show her the link. No, you count the balls. We got the shack. Everybody's gonna, everybody's gonna be really jumping to go to hand made by Haley. Those hands right there, Maybe real big. Brian calls it hand job by hand Haley. Job. Visit hand job by Haley today. There's the link. Go. No, she has great stuff and she has excellent reviews. I'm gonna put a couple of the reviews on the episode as well as some of the pictures of her beautiful stuff in people's homes, just like it's in mine. That's 69. She made that. That's actually a number that me and Josh uh, stand to very strongly. Visit Shot 30 Podcast. Yes. Thank you for watching. <laughs> thank you for listening. And thank you both for being here. And thank you so much for talking about something that I know is not very comfortable about <coughs> talking Thanks about. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank <sighs> you. I'm going to go beat them asses now. <laughs>